Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you thought of taking your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making a product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Views to Go Global. It's scientifically proven, tested, and trusted templates for building a successful and sustainable export business. To so order a physically same discount, call 080 Are you an account officer, relationship manager, or marketer in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you at the verge of losing your job for no performance? Do you desire a change for the better in your career? Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Professionals from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve income export trade customers problem and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Are you, are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn dollars, euros, or pounds? Are you of taking your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making the product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Views to Go Global. It's scientifically proven, tested, and trusted templates for building a successful and sustainable export business. To order, call 080 912 Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Three Team Tech Trade Academy, in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies, brings to you from expert novice to expert legend. This is an expert mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs a thousand two hundred and fifty dollars, and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send any email to the email address below. All right. Good evening, everyone. And thank you for joining today. We're on to another edition of uh, Import Export Platform. And today we are still discussing the potential opportunity available in Nigeria under the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. And we are moving from one state 
of Nigeria to the other. We are moving from one state of Nigeria to the other. If you are here to get the book Built to Go Global, this is a book that basically answers the reason why export businesses fail. For those that are interested in export and have had issues with export business in the past, you now have an opportunity to be able to overcome those challenges that many businesses face when they are trying to do export business. And this is very important because at the end of the day, if you go into the business without adequate knowledge, what you tend to do for yourself is actually increasing the risk of losses. And that's exactly the solution that this program brings to, to bear. I mean, this book rather been to bear. Um, Voice of African Trade, if you are joining us for the very first time and you do not have um, the link to this program, you do not have the link to this program and you are getting to have this link just through a channel through which it was sent to you, then you will do well to uh, join our YouTube channel to be able to have access to the recorded session. And also to have access to that link, you can go to African S4 business platform. But the interesting thing about the platform, uh, the uh, voice of African trade is that the recorded video are found there. But if you want to have access to the link, you have to join the African export business platform. Every week, we drop a link there, the link that you can use to join the program and be able to also learn about the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. So we have done Abia, we have been to Adamawa, we have been to Akwa Ibom, we have been to Anambra, we have been to Bauchi, we have been to Benue, we have been to Bonu State, we have been to Cross River, we have been to Delta, we have been to Eboin. And we have been to different states in Nigeria. From a Boeing state, we've been to Edo, we've been to Enugu, we've been to Gombe, we've been to Imo, we've been to Gigawa, we've been to uh, Kaduna. We've been to Gigawa, we've been to Kaduna. Uh, we've been to Kano, we've been to Katsina. As a matter of fact, last week we were in Katsina. Last week we were in Katsina. Today we are up to Kebi State, another very interesting northern state. Another very interesting northern state, Kebi State. So, what do we have to discuss about this interesting state called Kebi? Join me as we explore the state called Kebi in our session today on the African Continental Free Trade Agreement uh, Program. We'll go on a short break. When we come back, we dive into it. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Treaty Index Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. So as usual, every week we go from, um, as usual, every week we go from, um, Preamble to peculiarities, to profile, to potential, to purchaser, to proposer, and we end up with profits. 
and we end off with profit. So we are on to Kirby State. Why must this state export or support exporters? Number one, to avoid over-dependence on federal allocation. Many Nigerian states today are heavily dependent on federal allocation. Many Nigerian states today are heavily dependent on federal allocation. With that, and, you can, and you will see, as I examine Kirby State today, the level of dependence. In fact, there are many states in Nigeria that cannot survive without allocation coming from federal government. To be able to boost the GDP of the state, that's the value of export. Export has the potential to boost the GDP of the state. To create opportunity for SME to grow, to decrease dependence on local market, because there is a huge opportunity in the foreign market. To reduce dependence on local market. To end export proceeds and grow revenue of the state and export proceeds and grow revenue of the state. To make farming and rural life become more lucrative. To make farming and rural life become more lucrative. To gain global market share and recognition. These are the value that export brings to any business, any country that is taking export seriously. The state can become home of creativity and innovation, you know, because when you begin to export and you see what is happening in the export market, sometimes you are forced to do something that you otherwise might not even do ordinarily. But now you are forced to do it simply because of what is happening in the export market. Of course, you won't want to be left out in the export market and that makes you to want to ensure that you take advantage of the export market. And this is very, very, very important. Job creation for the youth of the state, industrialization catalyst, that's another opportunity available as a result of AFCFT. Industrialization catalyst, industrialization catalyst. Know the value of state competitive advantage. It leads the way for other states to follow. You can lead the way for other states to follow because of the high level of income that a state is capable of generating as a result of export. The state can begin to lead the way for other states to follow. The state can become independent of federal allocation. And there are numerous incentives that the citizen of the state can enjoy. It creates opportunities to maximize the indigenous of your state abroad. We've talked a lot about JAPA. We have not taken time to look at the positive side of this idea of JAPA. And the positive side, in my opinion, is the fact that the positive side, in my opinion, is the fact that they can become our agents and distributors in the export market. They can work with us to look for buyers in the export market. That is the opportunity we have in having a number of your indigenous abroad. It's an opportunity for poverty and education, and I'll show that in the course of my session today. It can make the state to quit the lead of state depending on wasting asset like oil or depreciating asset as oil. It can help to revive the economy of the state, slow down rural and urban migration, a task free opportunity for exporters in the state, and utilization of idle capacity of the companies in the state. Utilization of idle capacities of the companies that are resident in the state. Viability of state can be boosted. It's a wealth creating opportunity for the citizen of the state. 
It helps to explain the potential of what the states have for exports. You can yearn for more creativity because of competition and zero in on your area of strength as a state. So what do you see in this state called Kebby State? What do you see in Kebby State today? There are opportunities in Kebby State. Do you see unemployment? And we're going to see the data on unemployment in Kebby State very soon. So there are unemployment. What do you see in Kebby State? Do you see poverty? Of course, there are poverty in Kebby State. What do you see in Kebby State? Do you see frustration? Of course, there are frustration in Kebby State. What do you see in Kebby State? Do you see opportunities in farming? Because you can actually choose to see only the negative. I think that's one mistake we are making about Nigeria. Indeed, there are challenges, no doubt. Indeed, there are challenges, no doubt. And we need to get the government to do what they need to do. But it's also interesting to know that there are a lot of foreigners in Nigeria coming in to take advantage of the population, to take advantage of the large land mass, to take advantage of the farming in the farming, to take advantage of mining, and to take advantage of the population. We'll go on a short break when we come back. We we'll move on to the next part of this program. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right, peculiarities. Peculiarities. What are the peculiarity of this state? Kebi State. Kebi was founded out of Shokoto in 1991 by the Bangida regime. He has a major town, which includes some major towns, which include Bini Kebi, Agugu, Yewa. It lies in northwestern Nigeria with its capital in Bidin Kebi. It's part of the Shungai Empire of the 15th century. Kebi State is bordered by Chokoto State in the north and east, Niger to the south, Doso region of the Republic to the northwest, and Republic of Bene to the west. Kebi State is divided into 21 local governments. 21 local government. This state occupies 36,800 square kilometers with opportunities in agri, land manufacturing, healthcare, tourism, energy, and mining. The population of this state is about 4.7 million. Major crops include millet, wheat, Guinea corn, rice, onion, granite, cotton, maize, solid minerals, kaolin, gypsum, salt, gold, glassware, and marble. In this state, the IGR in 2019 is about 7.4 billion. The state has young population of about 2.1 million people below 15 years. This state is as a rich agricultural land, major producer of rice. And that's why you have the lake rice between Lagos and Kebi State. And that with abundant natural resources, new hope for agri commodity. Abundant livestock and tourism. I know the Agungu Festi fishing festival with the biggest fish being caught in that particular uh, program, the Agungu festival. 
working population, working age, people that are of working age in this state is 2.3 million people. About 1.08 are not in the labor force. 1.08 million are not in the labor force. Those in labor force is 1.2. Those in the labor force is 1.2. This is a big challenge. The profile of the state, the idea of the state grew to 30.78 in 2010, 2020. Federal allocation was 54.6 billion, 30.8 billion IGR, 54.65 federal allocation. The debt of this state as of 2020 is 73.38 billion Naira. 73.38 billion Naira. With both local, domestic, and external debt with both domestic and external debt. Look at this state. This state, the IGR of this state is 20%. Federal allocation is about 80%. The operating expense of this state, operating expense of this state is 57%. 35 billion. So this state, if it depends only on its IGR, cannot survive. But the objective of this program every week is to show that Nigerian state have millionaires in dollars. Nigerian state have what it takes to survive, but Nigerian state are not being driven or being uh, led by people who want to provide solutions. And the reason why I'm happy to be doing this at this time is we are providing adequate information. If you want to engage any governors in the state that want to contest right now, we should be asking, I will build road, I will build school, I will build whatever it is I'm building. Where will you get the money? Where will you get the money? Are you going to be taking loans? Or are you going to generate that income directly? Many of them will take loan. You know, it's so interesting at Nigerian state because when you leave the position, no repercussion. Someone will pile up debt for the upcoming government and he will just pile up debt. And you ask, what has he done with the money? We can't see what he has done with the money. We can't see it. If he has built infrastructure, maybe the infrastructure will be enough to generate income, dividend, through taxes, through levies, through uh, uh, other means. But there's nothing to show. How can people be borrowing for fun consumption? It's appalling. But that is the situation of our dear country. It's appalling. Even though the state has what it takes. But the driver is not just interested in this. Or the drivers are not just interested in this. They don't come in to come and increase revenue. They come in to come and share the money. <laughs> They're coming to come and share the money. So the only thing they are interested in is how do we share the money, please? That's the most interesting, important thing here. How do we share the money? How do we share the money? That is more important than any other thing. Let's see what budget have to say about Kirby State. According to budget report of Nigerian State, the land of equity, that's the nickname of Kebi, with a population of about 5 million people as of 2020, has a budget of 99.68 billion in 2020, revised because of COVID. He said in a sum of 35.74 on recurrent and 26 on capital expenditure. A trend analysis of KB expenditure shows that the state capital expenditure has experienced a steady decline in recent years. KB capital spending is critical in critical sector in 2020 is exactly declined from what is spent in 2019. 
He spent 2.92 in Ministry of Education, 1.04 in Higher Education, 1.08 in Health. Kebise surpassed his VAT projection in, of 2.07 billion, but do not meet his IGR of 10.49. Imagine, this state spent, spent about 35.74 billion on operating expense. But check, but check what they are spending on education, on health. The state obtained a tax allocation of 35.79 billion in health school as, uh, revenue. Taxes and indirect taxes, 88.35% of KB generated as IGR in 2020. KB State has a policy that allow MDA to spend and real, uh, realize revenue as source without recourse to the appropriate quota. This was listed as a limitation by the state of the general. This policy created leakage in the system. This policy created leakage in the system. And provide avenue for corruption to take place. Having recorded a debt to revenue of 114% and debt servicing to revenue ratio way below the threshold of 40%, it can be inferred that KB State debt burden is still within sustainable limit. My own question is always why do you have to incur this level of debt? when you can generate money directly from export, which is the whole essence of having this conversation in the first place. We'll go on a short break now. When we come back, we begin to discuss the potential opportunities, export opportunities in Kirby State. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right. So what are the potential available in Kirby State? Kirby State is as an agriculturally viable environment since it endowed with high soil fertility, vast farmland, and economically viable river shelter by fine tropical climate. Owing to these factors, agriculture has remained the major source of revenue and indeed the backbone of the economy of the state. Major food crop in the area of millet, gilicon, corn, maize, cassava, potato, rice, beans, onion. Vegetable white cash crop include wheat, soya beans, ginger, sugarcane, granite, tobacco. I also produce in the state. Similarly, fruits such as mango, cashew, guava, papa are produced under horticulture. Kirby State has Kirby Agricultural Development Authority, which is responsible for implementation of its agricultural policy. Kirby State is endowed with economically viable rivers such as River Niger and the Rima, such as the Niger and Rima, and the Rima for development of fishery activity. Fishing has always been one of the key occupations of the inhabitants of the state. All environmental factors, as well as large concentration of cattle and other animals, has made the state a basic raw material source for dairy product industry. The mineral resources in the state include limestone, salt, clay, gypsum. Major crop include millet, wheat, guinea corn, rice, onion, granite, cotton, maize. Solid minerals include cowlip, gypsum, salt, gold, glassware, and marble. Let's now dig deeper into the potential of this product in terms of the market size for our Greek now and the purchasers. Let's take it one by one. Let's look at cotton. The market size of cotton is 53.6 billion. If KBC can take just 1% of this, 
just 1% of this. 10% of this is about 5.3 billion. Um, 1% will be 0 0.5 billion. That's about $500 million. That's more than enough for this state to take care of all its needs. Can KB state just take advantage of this opportunity? 53.6 billion of cutting. And in Africa, the demand is 5.1. Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, Gambia, Mali, South Africa, Mauritius, Togo are the major market. How about corn? The market size of corn is 36.3 billion. 36.3 billion. Can this state just look for 1% of this market? Just 1% is good enough. Just 1% is good enough. That's 0 0.36 billion. That's about 300 million dollars. In today's Nigeria, 100 million dollars is 70 billion. <laughs> so even if you are using the rate, that's 40 billion naira. So the state have enough to be able to protect itself and cover its expenses. And it can also sell in Africa to Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, South Africa, Kenya, and the like. And this is $3.73 billion for corn. Can we look at peanut? You know, I was on the program today and someone was saying that he went to Walmart in the US, Walmart in the US, that I want to be supplying Walmart peanuts. And guess what? And guess what? Walmart in the US is asking this guy, can you give me 100 container of peanut, roasted peanut every month? 100 container. That is where a state government comes in and then the potential of all the producers in your state and ship this thing to America. The guy told Walmart, he will come back. Because he knows it can't be that demand. It can't be that demand. 100 container of peanut every month. 100 container of peanut every month. This state, KB State can take advantage of this. $3.19 billion for granite. $171 million market in Africa alone. How about onions? Onion. Imagine onions. So imagine onions. So onions. <laughs> Seven billion dollars. So the state can decide to sell onion. It can even sell it in West Africa. Seven billion dollars. The demand in Africa is $318 million from Senegal to Cote d'Ivoire, to Guinea, to Mauritania, to Mozambique, to Ghana, to Mali, to Angola, to Morocco, to South Africa. How about wheat? How about wheat? Another important one, wheat. Wheat, $44.1 billion. And Nigeria do a lot of import of wheat. And we have opportunities to produce locally. I know CBN is trying to fund some companies to produce wheat in Nigeria now. And the reason basically is, I mean, we are incurring a lot of Forex to purchase wheat. So why can't we produce locally where we can produce? Turkey, Indonesia, Egypt, Algeria, Morocco. Do you notice something? That in Africa, the North African are major consumer of wheat because of bread. Because of bread. In Africa alone, $12.5 billion. Out of the $44 billion market for wheat in the world, Africa alone, Africa alone, 
12.5 billion. Egypt, Nigeria, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Sudan, Kenya are major buyers. Then rice, $24.7 billion is the market size for rice. Kebi is already doing this with Lagos. Kebi can do a lot in rice production. Kebi can do a lot in rice production. And the market demand in Africa is 6.06 .06 billion. Benin, Senegal, Mozambique, Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, South Africa, Ghana, Egypt, Togo, Kenya, Mozambique, Somalia are all major markets. I'll go on a short break now. When we return, we will begin to discuss my proposal for Kebi State. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Treaty Impact Trade Academy, in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies, brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. All right. Proposal. Here is my proposal. to the state government of Kebi State. Any of this value chain can be used to drive this proposal. Typically, in the value chain of most agri products, from the production to harvest and transport, to primary processing and storage, to secondary processing and packaging, to marketing and sales, to logistics export and distribution, you tend to see SME alone. Different SME or even the same SMEs, as long as the operators of this value chain are SMEs who have inefficient value chain operator, low processing capacity and low output, few job creation, low quality and packaging, high cost of production, non-competitive product in the export market. Non-competitive product in the export market. non competitive product in the export market. Now, if we bring in a large corporate, for example, pick up any of the product we have talked about, from cotton to corn to peanut, you, and we are painting a scenario whereby there is an SME producing the primary production, harvesting and transport, different SMEs, but they are producing for SME 2 to buy, and SME 2 only look for market after giving the raw materials to the large corporates to process and package. I bring in my peanut, I go out with peanut, roasted peanut that is packaged. If I bring in my cutting, I come out with my cutting yam. If I bring in my corn, I come out with my corn powder or whatever final product I want. But the fact is that SME are not the one. SMEs are not the one. that are processing and packaging. Why? If we keep SME there, we are going to see our inefficient value chain operator. In this model, and this is a model that, you know, this model is not new. I actually saw it first and myself in the UK, I was blown away in Leicester actually. And I was, 
You know, I'm just imagining how SME can easily grow, how export can easily grow, how you can easily support SMEs. This SME, we don't have to worry about power, generator, uh, funding for packaging, quality, certification. Why? Because this creates efficient value chain operator, high processing capacity and high output, good quality and packaging, low cost of production, competitive product in the export market, high job creation, decrease in equality, and of course, decrease in security. And of course, decrease in security. In order to ex, uh, support exporters in Kirby State to enter export market in Africa, Europe, and America in a secure and sustainable way, what the state government need to do is to partner with representative at destination to market and secure contract, set up warehouses for pickup by retailer and host and uh, wholesaler at destination, set up an entity agent or distributor at destination, partner with independent agent or distributor at destination, and organize and sponsor manufacturer for exhibition in the export market. For exhibition in the export market. How does the state profit directly from export? Let's look at a product like sugarcane and see how this they can profit from it directly. Directly. How do we do that? How do we do that? If 10% of the state, of the farm land in this state, this state has 1,413,000 hectares of land. If 10% of this, just 10% of this is cultivated, the yield per hectare is 20, 20 metric tons. Possible yield is 2.8 million tons of sugar cane. 2.8 million tons of sugar cane. Two point eight million tons of sugar cane. At the exchange rate, at the rate of five hundred and eighteen per metric ton, what do you have? Total exportable sugar cane per metric ton at two point eight million tons. That's one point four six billion dollars. At an exchange rate of 450, 607 billion. Cost of cultivated sugar cane plus the profit of the farmers plus the cost of export. If you deduct that from the total income, the state still have about 428 billion plus the IGR 442 billion. 442 billion. The budget of this state is 186 billion in 2022. All we are saying is that the state should partner with a private sector that can process and package this for export. The state can have 80% of the, of the earnings of that, of, that, um, of that company. The state fund this private sector, provide fund, provide uh, input for farmers from the state, the farmer into cooperative across the state, across the state, across the state. Having done that, he can issue purchase order to farmers, and this can be backed by a guarantee. So the farmer knows that I'm producing for the state government to buy off me. So the state government is buying off me directly. So that means if I produce at X amount of money, I put 30% on it, my state government, immediately I finish processing, I mean farming, I harvest, deliver it to a location where it will be processed and packaged for export. They have been trained and given the right impute 
and they are giving a guarantee that the state government is going to buy. The state government is going to buy. The SPD provide collection center for farmers. SPD process the product for export. SPD source for buyers, due documentation and shipment. SPD present document to buyers bank for payment. SPD pay farmers and share balance to the state. And the state can use its own share for development. Now, how do you get this done? The impact of the suggested model for state government The impact of the suggested model for state government goes beyond generation of revenue via export. It has a humongous impact on employment generation and increased economic activity in the state. In my opinion, this is a more effective, efficient, and enduring model for diversifying the economy of any state in Nigeria. Of any state in Nigeria. This model can help to replicate, can be replicated rather by the federal government at the federal level, especially for the exportation of solid minerals. Solid minerals. Someone is suggesting brown sugar processing. Can you see there are a lot of other areas of the value chain? I'm even looking at them exporting it without adding value. When you begin to think of value addition, the state can make so much money. The question we should be asking ourselves, which is why I said, what kind of conversation are we having during this election period? What kind of conversation are we having? What kind of conversation are we having in this election period? Are we still having the same conversation we've always had? <laughs> Are we still having the same conversation we've always had? In this election period? Of course we shouldn't be having that. We should be asking these guys, you want to be a governor, how will you make money for the state? Not how you share the money that you get from Abuja. We'll go on a short break when we come back. We'll come on, round up. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Treaty Impact Trade Academy, in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies, brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250, and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. So today we have looked at Kirby State, and next week we are coming to North Central, and we'll be going to Kogi State. Let's see what this guy is doing, Kogi State. This is our governor of Kogi State that said uh, we deal with anybody that criticizes what his government is doing. <laughs> if you are here to get the book Built to Go Global, it's a book that basically shows you why export businesses fail. Get your copy. If you want to get a copy of this video so you can share with your friends and allies and other people who are in Kirby State to be able to ask this question from their governorship candidates, visit Voice of African Trade, subscribe, like, share, drop your comment, and don't forget to click on the notification bell. If you want to get the link to this program next week, please visit African Export Business Platform. African Export Business Platform. African Export Business Platform is on, is on Telegram. This uh, platform on Telegram 
basically allow you to be able to get to have information at your fingertips as far as this program is concerned and many other information that might be of interest to you as far as export business is concerned in Nigeria. Let's go on a short break. When we come back, we'll close for today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. Are you an account officer, relationship manager, or marketer in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you at the verge of losing your job without performance? Do you desire a change for the better in your career? Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Professional from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve income export trade customers' problems and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Are you, Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Treaty Index Trade Academy, in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies, brings to you from expert novice to expert legend. This is an expert mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. All right, thank you very much everyone for being able to join today. See you next week. Have a wonderful weekend and bye-bye for now.